Okay, so you fell in love with Disney, um, so that kind of really um, helped with your decision on mm -hmm. your career change. So what are your feelings now? Um, I am still really excited about it, even more so since I've um, done the exercise, the homework, with finding out what those locations are, okay. and talking to you know people at those locations about you know really what it will take to do it. Mm -hmm. I still have just a little bit of reservations in terms of what type of educational background okay. or what kind of educational um, accomplishments I need to to think about having and getting, you know, whether it's actually going to be a full um, degree in hospitality that I have mm -hmm. to seek or can I transfer skills that I currently have in mm -hmm. management. So that's a big piece of it that I need okay. to still kind of figure out. Okay. Um, um, I do, as I mentioned, you know, um, I've worked in a hotel, but mm -hmm. I know that's just a very, very small part mm -hmm. of what a resort manager would do. So, okay. so we're going to put a pause on um, the educational background or mm -hmm. um, the skills and, and things that you need to become a manager. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about that a little later when okay. we um, go over your plan and okay. um, the actions you should take um, mm -hmm. with your next step. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to kind of think about of going to, um, have you talked to your supervisor now about your career change? Because mm -hmm. I know before you were saying it wasn't anything that you mentioned to anyone about. It was just something that you were thinking. Mm -hmm. No, no, I haven't. Okay. I, and I really don't think I plan to. Okay. I really don't know if it would, you know, be a, a hindrance yeah. for me at my current position mm -hmm. if I were to, you know, kind of get into a conversation that I'm thinking about a different field. Okay. Um, so I probably won't mention any of that. Okay. You know, I'm not feeling that there's a benefit. Okay. For me in, mm -hmm. in doing that. And that's your feeling, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's not a good thing, it's not a bad thing. It's right. just something that you would rather keep to yourself, mm -hmm. you know, until you actually make that next step, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Um, so tell me a little bit. So are you still working now? Mm -hmm. Are you still currently oh. working at your own? Absolutely. I you know, I'll continue in that position until, you know, I've done everything I need to mm -hmm. prepare for a career change. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if I don't, and that's another reason why I don't want to say anything about it as yet, because if I do come across mm -hmm. something that's going to really sort of get in the way mm -hmm. or block my ability to, to change careers, right. I don't want it to have an impact on my current position. Because I can continue to do my current position. Mm -hmm. I just really want to to look at doing something different in okay. a different type of environment. So I want to keep that role mm -hmm. and that position, you know, pretty safe and secure for, okay. for now okay. until I'm, you know, absolutely ready to, and that's even after interviewing mm -hmm. and, you know, job offer, then I will let them know because there, there are individuals there who can take, you know, take my place. Right. You know, I can start grooming somebody else for that, or mm -hmm. we can start to, you know, get somebody else to move into the position relatively quickly okay. if I were to move out of the position. Okay. So I wouldn't feel like I'm leaving them, you know, in mm -hmm. a difficult position by, you know, accepting another job. Okay. So I probably just won't really talk about it. Okay, so have mm -hmm. that been kind of making it difficult for you to kind of jump into your career change, being that you're still working there, um, you haven't really talked to anyone about mm -hmm. it, is it just kind of like you just got back into being comfortable with being there, that mm -hmm. kind of, you know, delayed your mm -hmm. decision on the career change? Um, no, no, I'm not, I'm not feeling so much, um, that I'm just reverting back to being comfortable mm -hmm. in that job. It's just that I know, at least this is how I'm thinking, mm -hmm. is that, you know, it's a secure position. Okay. I don't have to leave the position. Mm -hmm. If I choose tomorrow not to move forward mm -hmm. with a career change, I can just continue what I'm
it's um, a safe place to keep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you don't have to leave like you mentioned. Yeah. Um, so is there a time frame that you will want to just say, okay, hey, you know, mm -hmm. washing my hands with this, I've done this for 10 years, I want to do something else. Have you looked at um, how long, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, time frame? Yeah, yeah, I have. I'd like to be able to, in the next 12 months, okay. transition. So, so quick. Yeah, okay. it's, you know, 12 months isn't that long, long yeah. you know, but it's not like really, really quick like mm -hmm. I do. Because I, I know there's got to be, I mean, I'm thinking there are some things that I need to do in terms of making sure I have a, a resume that's strong enough right. to, to actually get a job okay. as a resort manager. Okay. So I'm sure there's some things I'm going to have to get in place as far as education or experience. Or experience. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, even if you don't jump into being a resort manager, mm -hmm. Um, have you thought about just applying to a, a resort and just working there until you can get the management position? Or do you just want to jump right in to being a resort manager? Um, I'd like to jump right in to being okay. a resort manager. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's sort of my goal okay. is to just kind of, because I've got a lot of strong management um, oh, okay. experience, okay. You know, operational management experience, mm -hmm. but it's in a different Field. Okay. So I'm hoping that just learning the hospitality piece mm -hmm. would be enough to add to my current operational management piece. Okay. So I'm hoping in 12 months I can have enough of that accomplished mm -hmm. in order to put those two together to go right into a position as a okay. So if manager. I hear you correctly, mm -hmm. um, you're basically going to use your operational management um, background mm -hmm. to just jump right into mm -hmm. um, resort management. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so how, how do you think that's going to work out? Like, what are your feelings with that? Mm -hmm. Well, I feel with that, and this is kind of what my logic is kind of telling me, because mm -hmm. I do operational management for disaster, mm -hmm. um, a disaster team. I have to manage a lot of different departments, a lot of different areas, got to know where a lot of pieces are across the country, you know, sending people out for travel, keeping up with, you know, where uh, things are happening. So I'm thinking of that day-to-day -day mm -hmm. work that I do now in disaster okay. readiness, disaster planning, responding to disasters can transition into a hospitality piece okay. where of course, a um, resort manager, there's a lot of pieces, of course, that they have to keep mm -hmm. uh, going. And so I'm thinking, you know, just having that experience of managing multiple areas and multiple okay. levels, you know, lots of employees can kind of transition into that. So that's sort of what I'm thinking. Now, again, because it's a different type of field, mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that that field piece, that, you know, difference in, right. um, more of a um, entertainment piece mm -hmm. as opposed to responding to disasters right. can you know be trans transferred okay. over. Um, so it kind of seems like you have a plan. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that um, your plan could possibly work. You know, a lot of the times mm -hmm. um, with the management positions, it's just kind of they look at how well can you lead. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and with you doing operational management for so long mm -hmm. um i kind of feel like that that's an advantage mm -hmm. you know um just because it's two different fields mm -hmm. um you can get the required education like you spoke about mm -hmm. um before to kind of put you in mm -hmm. with um resort mm -hmm. um so it's, it's it's good to hear that you have a you know your own personal plan mm -hmm. you know you want to kind of tie the two in mm -hmm. um which sounds great um mm -hmm. So I want to um, go back to um, education piece. Mm -hmm. So um, what do you feel like are the steps mm -hmm. that you need to take mm -hmm. um, in order to um, get the education and background for hospitality and tourism? Um, I think that I definitely probably need to sit down and or either call some universities and find out you know, what a hospitality degree would 
entail. Okay. You know, what what would I need? Mm-hmm. Um, also, maybe um, talking to resort managers or doing some research mm-hmm. to find out what their background. Do they just have complete business backgrounds mm-hmm. that they moved uh, into mm-hmm. resort management, or did they have hotel motel management kind of specific backgrounds? Okay. And it might be a combination of both. Okay. You know, it really might just be how well do you manage? How, right. well, how well do you lead? Mm-hmm. Um, and then that might be all I need because that piece I know I have, okay. you know, the management leadership part. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so just a little um, self-disclosure. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually was um, given the opportunity to take um, a business um, course and it was a hospitality and tourism course um, during my undergraduate year just to kind of mm-hmm. it was a elective you know I thought mm-hmm. it would, would be interested interesting to you know look into that side of the business mm-hmm. business field mm-hmm. um, so I know there are classes out there mm-hmm. um, that you can look into taking mm-hmm. um, even if you know you can pick up like a management class as well as a hospitality class mm-hmm. you know just to kind of get um, some more knowledge um, mm-hmm. about um, resorts and or hotels or mm-hmm. you know just that side of mm-hmm. it. Um, so for the first plan, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I feel like um, maybe you can kind of um, go to the local university mm-hmm. um, and just kind of get a career um, plan or a plan of study mm-hmm. of um, the business. Field mm-hmm. and see um, if they offer those courses. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so is that something you would be interested in doing? No, you said the business field, like business. Yeah, management. like um, not business management, but bi- hotel, uh, hotel management, um, hospitality, and oh, tourism. Okay. Um, I know mm-hmm. um, some business um, mm-hmm. fields kind of mm-hmm. have those tied into it too. Um, well, I guess I should. You know, because I hadn't actually talked much about what my current education yeah. background okay. is. I have an MBA, so okay. I have business okay. part, you know, okay. as an operational manager. Um, so I do have a bunch of business okay. background. So that's why I was, you know, thinking I could just transition that, okay. you know, mm-hmm. into it because I, I really have a lot of business okay. related background experience education. Okay. But it's just, okay. How much hospitality information do I need mm-hmm. to have prior to applying for or being ready for a position as a resort manager? Right. And that kind of takes us back again to mm-hmm. um, you reaching out to those mm-hmm. resort managers, um, yeah. you know, looking into uh, the current resorts that you looked into, mm-hmm. maybe kind of scheduling an um, appointment or a meeting. Mm-hmm. Um, to meet with um, the manager just so you can kind of get an idea of mm-hmm. the course of study and, uh, or classes mm-hmm. that you would need or what mm-hmm. is required or how did they get there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's something you should look into, mm-hmm. you know, because um, it could be an advantage. Mm-hmm. You know, you have your four resorts that you're very interested in, mm-hmm. so why not reach out mm-hmm. um, to a manager at at least one? Yeah. Um, and, you know, just go mm-hmm. in a meeting with them and Mm -hmm. um, just so you can kind of get an idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely I think that's a really important first step Mm -hmm. is to, you know, really talk with someone specifically about what background they have prior to getting into the position they're currently in. If it was, you know, all business or a combination or just a transition or moving up the ladder from um, hotel um, and tourism field. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So now I want to talk about since you didn't um, do your pros and cons list, mm-hmm. I want you to give me three pros mm-hmm. and three cons of your career transition. Like, okay. what are some pros mm-hmm. of you making this change mm-hmm. after? Um, being the operational manager for 10 years and mm-hmm. what are the cons of it? Mm-hmm. Um, I think I would list on the top of the pro list mm-hmm. is the um, the uh, change of type of work. Okay. You know, the clientele, the, you know, kind of uh, 
area of work, the environment, mm -hmm. you know, because again, when I'm responding to disasters, okay, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I know that I'm responding to a crisis situation, mm -hmm. responding or preparing for clients coming into a resort, you know, the people are coming for entertainment. entertainment. So the pro there on the top of that list was to, would be that change. Okay. Change from, you know, working with different um, perspectives. Okay. So that would be the number one pro. Okay. Number two pro would just be to be in a wonderful environment like that. <laughs> just to, okay. for my day-to-day -day, mm -hmm. uh, life, you know, as I talked about, you know, one of the things that kind of talked about could potentially be a con is that, you know, it's your life. You're living yes. this day-to-day. -day. Mm -hmm. So that could, to me, also be a pro. Okay. You know, so time pro one and pro two in together, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so just basically the entertainment and the different environment mm -hmm. change. So mm -hmm. that can kind of tie in that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. And the con would be um, that you work all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see how that could be a con, mm -hmm. a con you know, because mm -hmm. um, that can kind of wear down on your body too. Yeah. You know, you, they work 24 hours right. because they never close. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. But then it kind of makes me think like it could be a pro too, you mm -hmm. know, because you're doing something that you enjoy. Like mm -hmm. you're meeting new people every day, right. all day, exactly. you know. Exactly. Um, and I know a lot of the times um, mm -hmm. some people at those resorts are actually, you know, they have activities that they host, mm -hmm. um, you know, so it could mm -hmm. kind of be, it can kind of go both ways. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, could you um, think of any more cons? Um, let's see if I could think of another con. Well, I mean, it would be one of the cons could be that I would be moving away from my family, but yeah. they would have a wonderful place to come, come and visit. visit. Of okay. Course. <laughs> but um, my family is all here, okay. so um, I would be a little further away from them. So that could be a little bit of a con to, okay. to adjust to. So adjusting to um, location change and mm -hmm. um, leaving family behind. Yeah. Okay, and then also um, the work hours mm -hmm. with some cons. Okay, so mm -hmm. give me one more pro then. One more pro would be to just do something that I love. Did I say that already? I'm going to put that Kinda. above a pro. <laughs> <laughs> well, do um, so. Okay, so, you, so pro one and two can kind of tie in. <laughs> so right. pro three can just be um, just... Uh, reliving childhood, you know, yeah, doing, something yeah. fun, doing something fun, you know, yeah. um, coming yeah. from yeah. operation or management mm -hmm. and working with, you know, disaster and things like that, that's, it can kind of be not depressing, but mm -hmm. you know, kind of, your mood can kind of be The down. emotional, the emotional connection is going to definitely yeah. be different. I mean, yeah. I love what I'm doing, I have a lot of compassion for, you know, responding to people in crisis, mm -hmm. that's been a lifelong thing that I have been able to do. And I've loved doing that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of fulfillment in that as well. Mm -hmm. um, being able to, you know, help people who are in crisis, you know, mm -hmm. following a disaster. Yeah. So there's a lot of joy that I've had in working in that field. Okay. So just kind of flipping it now to mm -hmm. another direction where mm -hmm. now I'm working with people who are coming, you know, to the resort mm -hmm. to have a good time. A good time. You know, they're right. coming to enjoy mm -hmm. their lives. And so... Um, the workload, I think, um, in my vision would be pretty much the same because, as I mentioned, there's a lot of pieces mm -hmm. to to what I do now mm -hmm. and being responsible for a lot of different venues. Mm -hmm. So I don't see a big change in that. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that would be a con okay. um, or a pro that mm -hmm. I'm going to have less to do okay. because I, I don't see it as less. I see it pretty much equal. Okay. Um, amount of work and responsibility okay. to, to, the, to have to do. So if I hear you correctly, mm -hmm. the number one pro is just doing something totally different and totally fun. Mm -hmm. um, getting into a new environment, mm -hmm. um, coming from, you know, disaster to kind of entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems like your con would be um, location. Mm -hmm. um, you know, leaving your family behind. Mm -hmm. um, but on a bright note, 
they can always come and visit. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of interesting. And I've got a big family, so okay. I expect that I'll have somebody <laughs> coming on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Especially if they can stay for free. Right. So, you know, yeah. everybody loves free. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of interesting to hear, you know, mm-hmm. your pros and cons and how, you know, um, your pros are kind of tied in together and then your mm-hmm. cons are kind of tied in together. Yeah. Um, so that was interesting to hear, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but I'm, I'm proud of you, you know, from last session to this session. Mm-hmm. I can see how more excited you are about yeah. this career change. Mm-hmm. Um so as far as our, the plan mm-hmm. that I would love for you to follow mm-hmm. um, would be to um, first um, get the educational background, mm-hmm. um, uh, figure out the steps mm-hmm. that you need to take um, or what, what it is you need to take mm-hmm. um, to kind of become that resort manager. Mm-hmm. Um, secondly, I would love for you to apply mm-hmm. for a, a, a resort management job. Even if it's not the manage the manager position, mm-hmm. go ahead and apply to one of your top four resorts. Um, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. go ahead and just get out there because mm-hmm. it seems like that that you kind of been holding yourself back because mm-hmm. you know it's just kind of like you're you're still working where you are, you know, mm-hmm. because that's like your safe zone. Right. But mm-hmm. in twelve months, you do want to you know mm-hmm. do the career change. So mm-hmm. I think. Why not go ahead and make the first step to a mm-hmm. plan? Mm-hmm. You know, and maybe it can be shorter than 12 months. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a great idea. I hadn't even thought about just, mm-hmm. you know, using all of my background and ed- current education to apply. Yeah. And it, it may turn out that I do have everything I need in right. terms of um, the readiness to, to be a operational manager, mm-hmm. you know, to manage the resort course you know and, and managers of course operational managers you have to depend on other people right you, know, you have to have other people who know the things that you know they need to know mm-hmm. in order to make everything run smoothly so mm-hmm. currently I rely heavily on my you know managers in different right. areas so because you know I don't do everything myself I mm-hmm. just have to make sure that everything is running right uh, the way it needs to run take mm-hmm. care of things that you know need to be taken care of, mm-hmm. but I've got great people who work with me who take care of a lot of stuff. So okay. that's sort of probably the, um, you know, the way it is in a resort manager. Of course, mm-hmm. they can't be in the hotel all the right. time. They can't be in the restaurant or, you know, they can't be, you know, looking at bringing in the entertainment and mm-hmm. all of those things, you know, so they've got to have great people who right. work under them. Okay. So I think that's a great idea. Yeah. I probably should maybe just sit down, mm-hmm. take a look at, you know, maybe an opening, if there is an opening anywhere, mm-hmm. find out what the requirements are and and apply. Yeah. Or at least mm-hmm. see if I have enough of those requirements that are listed in the posting mm-hmm. that I could feel like I could be a strong candidate. Right. And it could happen in it could less have. than 12 months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, the last... Um, Plan, I want you to kind of um, look back over your resume, mm-hmm. you know, kind of make it um, reflect uh, your new career that you're mm-hmm. going into, mm-hmm. you know, kind of just kind of tweak it mm-hmm. to kind of, you know, um, draw the attention of mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. the job that you're going mm-hmm. to apply to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's another good idea. Mm-hmm. Definitely take a look at my resume and see what uh, skills I have, what mm-hmm. things I've managed or areas I've managed, and see how they line up. Mm-hmm. You know, and just sort of prepare a resort manager mm-hmm. resume. Yeah. Instead of, of course, operational Operation. manager yeah. for mm-hmm. disaster services. So um, that's a great idea. I think I'll do that too. Okay. That's those are two. two so we got your plan down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I know that you're going to do great things, mm-hmm. you know, that I'm always here, um, mm-hmm. you know, even if we're not every week, every day, mm-hmm. um, we can meet once a month, once every other month, mm-hmm. you know, because I do want to see your progress. I want to okay. know, you know, how long it's going to take you to mm-hmm. do this big major switch that you're looking to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but with those plans and those steps that I've mentioned, mm-hmm. um, I, I'm, re- I'm pretty sure Mm-hmm. That you know you can go ahead and take that first step into getting into your new career. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So I'm always here. Okay. I like it. It was 
was a pleasure having you um, <laughs> as my client, Thank you know, you. Um, and I wish you the best of luck with everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope that, you know, I was able to help you um, with, you know, taking these steps mm -hmm. to, to this career change. You have been wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, you have a great day. You too. Thank you. All right.